So really fast, I'm going to do um, a little bit more to that resist technique that we did yesterday. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with a piece of vintage dictionary. And I'm going to go ahead and with my twinkling H2Os you see here, I'm going to go ahead and spritz them and just do a real quick wash. So just so you can see how easy this is. I'm just really not even paying too much attention, just wanting to lay some color down on the paper. And um, the reason I'm doing this is I'm going to do one of the silk glazes over top of this when it dries. And when I use the glaze, I'm going to be doing it with, um, basically trying to do it with one of the stencils so that it creates a resist with a little bit of this background color in it. So here you can see I'm making a really watery, soft, whoopsie, pretty, super easy, right? Background. We're going to let this dry. Clean up this right around me. So it, it's that simple. Okay, just covering the whole page with Luminart so that there's a nice background. We're going to set this aside. Earlier, I did one, and I did a little bit of, here, let me show you. I did a little bit of the stencils with the Stargazer Silk Glaze over the top of it. It's super easy. I mean, all I really did was went ahead, set this down, opened up my Stargazer, maybe shake it a bit. I'll shake it in front of you. Seems like I need to do a little rhythm. Shake it a bit. We're going to be using our stencil brush. Remember, now these are the brushes that have the flat tips. I'm going to just use a teeny bit right here, and I'll go ahead and, and stipple it. Now, I don't want to stipple this one because I actually want to show you what this will look like when I put the second layer of Twinkling H2Os. But you can imagine that I went ahead and just with a 95 degree angle, went ahead and pounced, removed, let the glaze dry, and now it's time to go ahead and use the Twinkling H2Os again. So since I laid down this um, little bit of blue and purple, I'm going to coat over the top of the blue and purple now with some of the olivine green. And I'm going to get it pretty watery because I do want it to be like a wash. And then you'll also be able to see where I stenciled the flowers earlier on top of that. Now the reason I'm doing this too is I'm, I used the glazes that were kind of a little bit more sheer or lighter colors so that you could see a little bit of that background that I had painted with the Twinkling H2Os. So here you go. You can start seeing the flowers come to life. Kind of cool, right? And this would make a great background. Kind of a cool background maybe for a, maybe a scrapbook page, maybe art journaling, as you know I like, or maybe even for an arts trading card. I mean, we always need ways and different ideas for backgrounds. The more background ideas, the better, right? At least that's what students are always telling me. So I'm going to add more, a little bit more color. Beauty with the twinkling H2Os is you can always add color, but you can't really take color away. Okay, I'm going to spritz this a little bit right on top of where the glaze was. And then I'm going to take my paper towel and dab it off. That'll just clean it up a little bit. And now you can see where I had originally painted the Twinkling H2O, much like this piece of paper that we did earlier. Then I went ahead and used my stencil with the Stargazer silks, let it dry, came back over it and painted again with the Twinkling H2Os. And now the flowers have a little bit of that background left from the original color. So basically you're layering up. Now I could let this dry do another set of stencils, and then the next set of flowers would be even darker. You could keep adding the background paper. But anyways, so I just want to show you taking these resists one step further. All right, can't wait to see you guys play with this stuff. I am so excited to be using the silks now with the Twinkling H2Os. It's like the perfect marriage, kind of like peanut butter and jelly or Oreo cookies and milk. Anyway, can't wait to see what you guys are creating, and I will talk to everyone soon. Have a great day.